One of the great parts about a screen printing press is the ability to lift and lower the screen when you're printing. This allows you to check your ink coverage and add more if you missed a spot. When you're screen printing light colors on dark fabric, you can even dry the ink between coats which will give you a much brighter print. So what's the key to getting your screen to come back down in the exact same spot on the shirt each time? I get asked this question a lot. I'm Jennifer with Pigskins and Pigtails and today I'm gonna to answer this question so that you can set up your press to successfully print one shirt after another. Whether you have my starter press or a larger press, the key is you want your platen to be sticky. With your shirt stuck to the palette, it won't move around when you lift and lower your screen. There are several solutions for making your palette sticky. The most beginner-friendly method is using a water-based palette adhesive like this one. Adhesives also come in aerosol form, but I prefer a liquid because I'm screen printing in my house. This liquid has very little smell to it and it's not going to spray all over my room. You can apply this directly to your palette. Just squirt a small amount and spread it around on your palette. You can use an old business card or cardstock to spread it. This card will end up getting pretty sticky, so it's nice to have something you can throw away at the end for quick cleanup. If you prefer a more eco-friendly option, you can use a plastic scraper tool like this and clean it off when you're done. This stuff gets really sticky, so you just need a thin coat. Continue spreading it around your palette in overlapping strokes until your entire surface is covered. Make sure you don't have any areas where it's pooled up. Then scrape off any excess onto a paper towel. This needs to dry before you start printing. I use this rechargeable clip-on fan to help speed up the drying time. It takes about two to three minutes and this will be ready to load my first shirt. You want the adhesive to be dry so it doesn't transfer to the inside of your t-shirts. This can be difficult to get out of your shirts, so don't rush this step. As we screen print shirts, the fibers from the shirts are gonna to begin to build up on the platen. You may even notice that some ink has seeped through the shirts onto the platen. You can continue printing as long as the adhesive is still sticky. When you lose stickiness, your shirts will start to move around and cause your print to have a ghosting effect. So before this happens, as soon as you notice that it's not sticking as well, you can add more tack directly on top of your palette. Over time, fibers and ink are gonna build up and you need to clean your platen off so that your surface remains smooth. To clean off the old tack, I use Mr. Clean All-Purpose Spray and a flat razor. Spray this all over your press and scrub to loosen it up. If you have any areas that won't come up with the spray alone, you can use a flat razor to scrape off any of the excess tack. If you're doing a lot of printing, this cleanup can get tedious, so there is a quicker way. You can use palette tape on your press. For best results, you want a tape that is wide enough for your palette so you can cover it in one solid piece rather than overlapping. Just roll out your tape over your clean platen and then smooth it out to get rid of any wrinkles or bubbles. Then you can cut off the excess around the edges. I use a sharp knife and go around each side. Now we can put the palette adhesive on top of the tape. Spread it around evenly until you have a thin coat. Let that dry and you'll be ready to start printing. When it's time to clean your press, you can just peel that tape up. This comes off in one piece and you have a clean palette. Apply more tape and tack and you've saved some time. If you are printing small batches on your press, you may not need to clean your palette off every time. You'll often see remnants of past projects on my press because I don't clean it off after every use. I just wait until I lose the stickiness or get lots of lint built up. Here's one more option to consider. This is a dual tack palette tape. This tape goes on just like the palette tape, but after you apply it, you just remove the film and the top is now sticky. You don't have to use the liquid adhesive with this. I found this tape holds the shirts just as well. I like using this dual-sided tape when I'm printing larger orders or doing a live printing demonstration. When you start to lose stickiness in the middle of printing, you can grab a baby wipe and clean off the buildup of fibers and ink. By the time I grab my next shirt, it's sticky again, so I don't have that downtime waiting for the adhesive to dry. I did 250 shirts recently, and after printing that many and cleaning it off several times, I noticed that some of the stickiness started to come off. 
When this happens, just peel the tape off and start with a fresh piece. So whether you use a liquid adhesive or a dual tack tape, the key is to keep your platen sticky so your shirts don't move while you're printing. I hope this video helps you in getting the most out of your screen printing press. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more tips on how to use your screen printing press.